Hello ladies and gentlemen, first of all I'd like to apologize for the very skewed camera position and secondly I would like to welcome you to my newest Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battle and as you can see from the name on the right you suspect, yes you suspected correctly, it is the legendary Conom234 that not only kicks my ass in generation 4 but he kicked it all the way to generation 6 and that proves ladies and gentlemen how much of a legend this guy is because he may be younger than me but he is way smarter than what I am and you're going to see so in this battle I'm not exaggerating at all so you see an Amoongus with Calm Mind and you're thinking what the hell this guy hacked his Pokemon but no if you paid attention to me instead of Connor you would have seen that I have a Zoroark in the middle right? so um he goes for the Quiver Dance and I'm like super effed because I cannot say the word anyway so he goes for the Quiver Dance and he goes for the Hurricane and uh, if I had a Focus Sash on this thing none of this would have ever happened so there, go there goes the illusion and Zoroark dies to a very painful Hurricane anyway so out comes my dragon thing yes Rizardon and Conom's no fool he's no fool he will withdraw the bloody thing and he will send out his fox thing which he calls Fern I don't know why but he likes nickname things he told me that he got so excited that he actually even sat down to think of nicknames for his Pokemon I believe that is cool that is awesome so I'm like yeah I don't want to stay in I want to save that thing and I send out my very own mortar starter and yes it's the Greninja and he goes for a light screen which is a very very brilliant move very brilliant because most of my guys are special based like this Greninja like my Zoroark God rest his soul anyway rest in peace anyway so um, I go for the waterfall and look at this thing this is the bulkiest Crobat I've ever faced I haven't seen Crobat in Gen 6 anyway so um, yeah, it's good to see him anyway if you've noticed the theme, it's the rival theme because come on, Conor, Conom234 and myself are like, we go way back. So I believe that this theme fits us very well. Anyway, so confusion hacks, you know, you know my luck, everyone knows my luck, and he goes for the roost, which is a very good move because, you know, he wants his health back because he wants a healthy crow back. And I'm still trying to figure who I am, and I'm trying not to slap my face in the wall, and yeah, okay. I got the six extra sensory off, and not to mention this Greninja is not the EV trained one, but this is an in-game Pokemon. Anyway, so when we were talking about the match, you know, we were we were talking about um, that we have in-game Pokemon, not, you know, fully trained and all that stuff. Anyway, so... Um, he, he reminds me of Koga because not only he confuses me but he almost like poisoned me or something anyway light screen light screen goes off which is good to see and he goes for the fly I snap out of confusion the moment he's in the air and that sucks pretty much and he gets some black sludge back up and he kills me with a fly attack which is very good because he has he, he knows his shit even in gen 6 he knows what he's doing ladies and gentlemen don't take him for a fool he's not a rookie like myself and out comes this thing and this is where I make it all embarrassing so I go for the Thunderbolt does um, it kills it actually and I outspeed it which means yeah this is Roland's Gengar who am I fooling this is the only thing that I've even trained sorry I lied to you guys but yeah I couldn't resist the fact that I was losing and I really wanted to actually level the score a little bit. So another foolish play because um, he I told you he knows what he's doing. He got a rock polish on that on that thing with frills on its head anyway. So um, he goes for a nice beam. He's faster than everything on the field now and he's going to sweep me with this thing and I'm like uh, no, no. anyway. I could have gone for a close combat, that would have been a very good relief. So I'm like, I have a surprise for you, buddy! And he's like, Ice Beam, and I'm like, ah, he's faster. And uh, he survives, younger survives, and I'm like, I'm gonna use Destiny Bond, so go ahead, attack me, go for it. And he's like, ah, I'm no fool, I'm not an idiot, I'm gonna go for another Rock Polish until you stop Destiny Bonding, because I can do this all day. Rock Polish has got like, what, 20 PP, and. Um, the Destiny Bond is only about 5, so it's only a matter of time, so I thought to myself, I should stop wasting my time, because he's not going to kill me while I have Destiny Bond up, he is going to kill me, and he's going to be faster than everything on the field, so this is why I made everything so embarrassing, because I was hoping that he would take me down, and um, he's now at plus 6 speed, and he can even outspeed my timid, I don't know what, anything, so 
Not only is this thing bulky as crap, it also has lefties and it is going to be impossible to take down because it's fast, it is bulky, and it is very powerful too. So, great job George, you just, you just like, put a hole through water which is impossible. Because I am impossible, you know? So anyway, um, I try to see what else I can make a fool of myself with, but I am still very, very, uh, what do you call it? I still have, you know, hopes. I'm like, is he gonna go for an ice beam? He won't kill me with an ice beam. And I'm like, yeah, you idiot. It's a rock type. It is bound to carry the rock type move. And I'm like, if he doesn't kill me, I might kill it with a flamethrower or something. But no, ancient power and actually made a complete fool of myself once again. Great job. Once again, uh, that thing just restores its health all the way, you know, to full HP while I sit down here and try and make myself not look like a fool. And um, I brought up my 1-up because, well, instead of 1-up, I'd say 1-down, but since it's bulky and stuff, uh, I'm sure that all I can do is, you know, insult injury on that thing. I just wanted to take it down, even if I'd lost, I wanted to take the Auroras down because, come on guys, it's like... It's embarrassing. Anyway, so nonetheless, it's fun because I like being, uh, even though I lose to some people, like um, another friend of mine on Facebook, Lavon, uh, I have no problem losing to my superiors. As a matter of fact, I like narrating the video so I can watch and learn from my mistakes. And uh, still, I won't kill that thing because there's no special investment whatsoever. So um, this is how I lost the first match to Kano Kano 234 I'm sorry I'm still you know half asleep anyway so second battle involves um, well the second battle doesn't start just yet anyway sorry that the screen is like pulsing like a heart or something like that anyway this is the second battle and this is where I get my revenge you know um, I actually feel quite bad for one reason because at the end of the match when we you know were chatting and stuff like that he said that he hadn't finished the game hence he does not have any mega evolution and it is completely normal because I thought that he had like a mega god or something I mean like it's Connor ladies and gentlemen it's not like some other mood that you face out every day so I'm like yes he sends out, out that thing and I'm like uh, oh, oh, oh. anyway so this time I send out my real real one up and he's like um, I'm gonna go for call mine and I'm like no you're gonna go to sleep because no I actually don't have spawn this thing damn it because I hadn't trained it yet well done again so I go for the toxic because I wanted to damage it and stuff and, and then um, anyway so I get poison on it and it's gonna be like a long eight turns so this thing dies out of poison so I'm like let's stall a little bit because that's what a moongus does right well, at least mine for now, anyway. So it goes for Sidekick, predictable, because it's a poison type and he wants to kill my bloody wall. So I switch out my 1-up and this is where things got kind of cool. So I send out my imposter thingy where he actually kills my Zorak again because I'm such a fool and he must have realized that, um, yeah, I was, it was stupid because I let my Greninja, I, I used it last anyway, I tagged it along. And uh, I was like, okay, this is where shit is gonna get done. This is my Gengar sweep, and it starts right now because um, it's a Gengar. And it's also type Fairy God of War, so um, it's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be best, you know, to see it go down. Anyway, so he sends out his um, harmonious thing, and I go for the Thunderbolt, and I was like, uh, I'm gonna kill stuff right now, and... It feels kind of good actually, but I also feel bad at the same time because I do something that wasn't quite fair to my opponent. He brings that thing and I'm like, I have to kill it ASAP, so that's why I needed an extra boost from the Mega Evolution, from Mega Gengar himself. He looks like a complete badass, as if he wasn't a badass in the first place because he's got a spiky back. Which one of you guys has got a spiky back? None of you. Anyway. Oh man, I need, I need to, um... I need to take a breath. So it goes for the rock polish, hoping to outspeed me, which is commendable. Which it could, he could have outsped me, but come on, guys, this is Gengar, and Mega Gengar is even faster. I think I don't know. I know he's stronger, but anyway, with this special defense drop, I think that this made my life a little easier. You know, if luck doesn't um, 
doesn't uh, you know with a touch of luck things don't don't get done properly so he sends out this Neptune thing which is awesome but I fried the Thunderbolt and I'm like ah he survived and I'm like okay I'm gonna die to a surf because Gengar's defenses are frail and no I actually survived which is cool because yeah it's Gengar and it's Roland's Gengar nonetheless anyway so that thing dies and out comes Autumn which is the Crobat and I'm like please kill it with a Thunderbolt because that thing is bulky as hell and please 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 kill it and yes I killed it which is very nice to see I'm sweeping him silly but um, in my defense he swept me too with that Aurora's thing so anyway no it's not it's not nice so that's why I use Destiny Bond because I felt you know I felt bad for sweeping him like that because he also told me that he had no Mega Evolutions and I felt like a complete dork I felt like a bully picking on someone, you know, um, weaker than me. So, uh, I took him down with Destiny Bond, it was like, the best thing I could have done. And I got to finally get Destiny Bond off, so this is the second match. I promise I'll be more fair to you, Connor, I promise. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next battle. So, goodbye everyone.